The spectrum of cars out there is the size of the world itself, and the only way to see them is to actually go there. And so when an opportunity to film car culture in New Zealand came up, thanks to Andy, Kaz, and Rob, the creators of Automation, we took them up on it and brought back these films. Automation is the first car company tycoon game where you can design your own cars and engines in crazy technical detail, test them, and create your own version of the perfect car company. And rather than buying banner ads, they called on us to help sell it. Without them, we wouldn't have these videos, so check out their game at automationgame.com. Sit down, relax, pull up a chair, and turn up your speakers, because I'm about to blow your mind. I want to tell you a story about a 22-year-old kid and his rally car. By his rally car, I don't mean a rally car he owns or a rally car he races. I mean a rally car he made in a barn from scratch. I, my first rally I did when I was 15 years old on a learner's license. I like, literally just passed my driving test to drive on the road. And um, yes, I progressed and when I was 18 I started building my own car when I was still at school. and. 19, I was the youngest ever winner of a national rally in the Subaru. And not long after that, I started designing the Peugeot MC2, which is a completely my own car, scratch built, everything, mid-engine, um, fiberglass, carbon body. Each part, each system has its own story, from design to execution, a combination of home design components, homemade components, and parts purchased used, originally intended for WRC teams, such as the brakes and wheels. Uh, the interior of the car, I sort of wanted to make it look like a you know, world rally car, so it's got like a cool touch panel display, and the dashboard has got an RC jet engine in it for the demister to stop the windscreen fogging. Just, yeah. Zero to 100k is about two and a, like 2.6 seconds. Um, zero to 200k is about right on seven seconds. It only does 200k an hour, but on a little dirt road with trees, that's that's really fast. The car weighs a thousand kilos and it's about 450 horsepower naturally aspirated V6 engine out of a Formula Renault 3.5 which is like a small Formula 1 car and they changed from the V6 that's in my car to a V8 and that meant that all their 40 V6s were obsolete and I found where they were in France and yeah, made an offer and managed to managed to get one, which was the perfect engine. It was the heart of the project. And um, gearboxes in the middle, right between the seats. Um, Four-wheel drive. Six-speed paddle shift gearbox. All of the suspension, the shocks. I made myself in this barn. And there's about 600 pieces to each one. The chassis, the, the whole car, basically, the only bits we bought were the engine and the gearbox, really. Suffice to say, the neighbors all know when Alex is testing.
Oh, dude. That, that, that's, that's something else. That's, you don't get that. I mean, you can say you don't get that every day, but like, you don't get that ever. <laughs> that is some, some truly next level. Not even next level, that's like five levels. <laughs> like, you serious, you built this car in a barn. You promise. Yeah. Fuck. I'll never get to ride in a rally, uh, world rally car, but I don't think I'll have to now. <laughs> I think that pretty much covers it. <laughs> the speed at which he can go in this car without notes. I tried to do notes. How many corners did I make it? Two? I think I made it two corners with notes, and then I just threw the paper down. Oh, wow, dude. Thank you so much. No that is, that's, that, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I know why your mom doesn't like it. <laughs> you ever watch one of those rally videos where you can't believe how stupid people are to stand that close to the stage? Watch me learn that lesson right now. Here I am filming some slow motion with my iPhone. And here comes the MC2. Right as Alex passes, this rock, this one right here, flies up at Nolan Ryan's speed and makes direct contact with my left nut. Here is me collapsing on the ground, and here's the shot of me trying not to puke my face off. The funny thing about Alex and his MC2 is that some people do not wish him success. In New Zealand, those who really excel are brought down by some serious haters. Alex, for doing the most awesome thing I've seen someone do in a long time, has to deal with people who doubt he actually built the car. Of course, other people did help with the MC2. I mean, look at it. You think one guy can build that by himself? Gordon Murray couldn't build this car by himself. Burt Monroe couldn't build this car completely by himself. There are experts, friends, family, and professionals who've joined Alex on his journey for the spirit of the build and the rewards of seeing how well the car performs out on stage. We had a discussion last night about various internet commenters, and, and I guess the tall poppy thing happens here a lot. It, it does. doesn't, it seems like New Zealand, it's like, they really, if you get too successful, they get really annoyed. Big time. Really? Real bad with this guy. I imagine that yeah. would be tough. It was... Why like, do you think people don't think you did it? I don't know, I think it's probably because of my age, or, I, I don't know. The reality is, it's, uh, I did, so I don't... <laughs> <laughs> you can't really argue with truth, no. I guess. It would be far too easy to chalk this build up to mere money, but come on, how narrow-minded is that? After all, you could give me all the money in the world and all the time in the world, and I could never come up with anything that looks, feels, sounds, or goes anything like the MC2. That would require a cube. 